Okay, well, welcome to Steve Pine TV. We're here at the Intech Centre in Winchester today at the start of National Science and Engineering Week. Um, and part of that week is the Save Our Bees campaign, a very important campaign, something that I, I think is very important. Um, a couple of weeks ago I met this gentleman here, Hugh Sykes, who is chairman of the Winchester District Beekeepers Association and uh, saw his bees in situ in his garden and we talked about the Save Our Bees campaign. And Hugh's here with us now by the Observation Hive. Hugh, how's it going? What have you been doing here at Intech today? It's been going pretty well. We've been uh, showing people well, the whole process of uh, keeping bees. We've got a hive over there which we can show them how that's put together. We're showing them how we extract the honey through the extractor, how we settle it, how we bottle it, the hive product. But most important, we're showing them what bees look like in a hive and the yeah. observation hive here has been the most popular, especially with the children. Because of course for most people they only ever see beekeeping on television or read about it, they don't actually see them close no, up. No, that's right. And the kids seem to love it, don't they? Yes. It's like uh, the aquarium. But of course this is all good fun on a Saturday, but there's a really serious side to the, yes. to the Science Week and to the Save Our Bees campaign. And it, 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 try and encapsulate for us what the Save Our Bees campaign is and why it's necessary. Right. Well basically it's to save all bees. I think all bees are under threat. We're particularly concerned with the honeybee, which is uh, the bee that bee keepers keep. That's under threat primarily because man in the past has tried to hybridise the bee and in the process has introduced various diseases and parasites from other types of bee, in particular the varroa mite. Varroa is a particularly vicious mite which the uh, European honeybee can't cope with. So it's, it's wiping out all the wild colonies, uh, which means that only honeybees kept by beekeepers are now viable. So what we need is more beekeepers, more well-trained beekeepers, and more research into how to cope with varroa and the various diseases that varroa introduces. And that really is what's, what's causing the big reductions in the numbers of bees. Yeah. So, and, you know, from, from your point of view, the effects, if it carries on the way it is and the bee numbers continue to decline, the effects for us as, a, well, as, yeah. as humankind are quite serious, aren't they? Well, they say that Einstein is quoted as saying without bees the human race would, would be wiped out within five years. Whether that's strictly true or not, it's, uh, it certainly would be, well, a lot of our food wouldn't be pollinated, so we wouldn't have any, any apples or beans or all the various things we depend on bees for. Okay, and so finally, what's the, what's the call to action? What are you asking people to do here today as part of the week? Right, well, we're asking the people here, really, to, to help the bees by, well, mainly by growing flowers in their gardens, uh, which are friendly for bees. Yeah. Because not all bees in the garden are good for pollen and honey, which is, uh, sorry, pollen and nectar, yeah. which is what bees need. So wildflowers, the more primitive types of flower, are the best for bees. So we're encouraging them to grow those. We're also trying to encourage more people to take up beekeeping, because we need, we need more people to keep more hives, people to let us keep hives in their gardens, so that the more qualified beekeepers then future is really assured because without the beekeeper there won't be the bees. And this is what they're giving out here at Intech today, a, a pack of seeds which allows you to plant some, some bee friendly plants. If, you, if you've not made it to Intech today then you can go on to saveourbees.org.uk or just Google Save Our Bees and you'll find what you need. Hugh, thanks very much. Thank you.